Imagine how useful that would be on a complex scully reconstruction. Many of the top spine surgeons in the world are making their way to Central Florida to work with and learn from Dr. Robert Masson, a pioneer in minimally invasive spine surgery. Dr. Masson is building a high performance team that's transforming patient care worldwide. We are building this core group of people who are singularly minded to push themselves farther than they thought they could go. It took about five seconds since I was introduced to him to realize that he's a, a, a very unique individual and that he's completely passionate, unreservedly uh, committed to what he's doing and knows his stuff better than anyone. His creativity and drive for improving patient care has led to a complete change in the approach of how spine surgery is done. He's you know, evolved this over, you know, over 10 years time and now is, you know, feels that it's at a point now where he's ready you know, to bring it, uh, bring it out and, and train other surgeons in, in the technique. The minimally invasive technique that Dr. Masson developed, refined, and perfected over the last decade is called IMAS. It's a complete reimagining of a decades old technique that, in combination with highly skilled surgeons, is revolutionizing lumbar spine surgery. When I first heard about what he was doing, uh, you know, I, I was told, well, you know, he's, he's doing these large spinal reconstructions and he's doing it through an incision, you know, two centimeters in length, uh, just right in the midline, and, and uh, well, no he's not, that's not possible. You know, I was convinced to go down and, and take a look at what he is capable of. And then we went to the operating room and he was, uh, you know, doing these complete uh, circumferential reconstructions of the spine with a very effective decompression, and he was doing it in one-fourth of the time of what most people would take, and then the patients are hopping up and leaving the hospital the next day. This is an anatomic-based approach. It, it identifies an area of the spine that is safe to enter, through a very minimally invasive technique it spares all the soft tissues. I've reset my expectations about how big an incision is going to be, how long a surgery is going to take, what kind of result I'm going to see, and how fast that person is going to achieve that result. It's, it's a new world. Fifteen years ago, spine surgery was usually seen as the beginning of the end in terms of an active, engaged lifestyle. You know, everybody has a, you know, a aunt or uncle in their family that had back surgery and they, they never walked right again. Today, Dr. Masson's eye mask technique, performed by a growing team of skilled surgeons, is changing that. Patients are out of bed within 45 minutes of having surgery and they're walking and yes, and once they're comfortable enough and, and recovered enough from anesthesia and all of that, they can go home. It puts the spinal fusion into the same scope as the arthroscopic knee surgery. It really does. Dr. Masson and the eye mask procedure, a game changer for patients and physicians. When I saw him do this and I, and I just thought, well, I, I can either adopt this or quit fooling myself and go do something else because this is the next wave of you know, lumbar spinal reconstruction. Um, and if, I, if I'm not willing to participate in that, then I'm, I shouldn't be doing this. It's not about a widget, it's not about a procedure, it's not about money, it's about performance and it's about propelling our own work in healthcare to a level we didn't think was possible and we all inspire each other towards that end and it makes going to work really meaningful every day.